So hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gardner State Growing. And yes, once again, I got the same haircut, the same clothes, the same everything. You know why? Because I'm trying to rapid fire a bunch of videos at you right now. Uh, Cause you know, I only have so much time and I, for the next like three or four days, I'm completely bound up. It was my brother's birthday, my son's birthday, my father-in-law's birthday. Then it's going to be, oh, uh, my father, we gotta have to celebrate my father-in-law's birthday tomorrow, anniversary, and then it is Mother's Day, and then Memorial Day. So it's like, uh, little, 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 little. like the next three weeks, I'm gonna be pulling my hair out. So let's get to it. This is Lion's Mane Part Two by Nearby Naturals. I just want you to say I reached out to Nearby Naturals and they were, they saw my video and they were very gracious to give me um, a discount code. Not for you guys, unfortunately, but at least for me. I mean, I only have 900 subscribers, so if I had more, I would be able to offer this to you as well. So the first stage was just to open the box cut an X in the top and I will show you that and then put this plastic sheet on top and give yourself enough room just to give it a little spray underneath and as long as I saw some droplets of water on top I didn't go ahead and spray it they were very um, uh, insistent on like even that you go two feet away and give a spray and just let the mist fall they only wanted a humid environment not a soaked environment I hope I followed that good enough. I think I did. I'm seeing these mushrooms start to form. So I'm gonna remove this right now, this plastic. I am gonna save it because it just really was a, a nice thick piece of plastic. I think I could remove this tape and reuse it. And then they want me to come in here. Now, at first they had me uh, fold up the box sides in order to put that plastic and make like a little humi uh, humidor out of it. It did have holes poked in the sides, but now it wants me to take those corners and fold this down. And it does say that if you're having trouble keeping these sides down, you can just like you tape them up, you can tape them down. So now that I have finished taping the rest of this down, let me bring you in for a close up to show you what it kind of looks like. And as you can see, the little puff balls of lion's mane, uh, they kind of look like those uh, snowballs of coconut things that marshmallow coconut things that you used to eat as a child that are gross. But um, so here we have it. I have a bunch of lion's mane starting to grow here. It's looking really nice. Uh, I see some parts turning a little yellow. So I'm gonna open up this slit from corner to corner. And uh, like, as you can see here, it's not really, uh, I only did like a four inch slit. I think I'm gonna open it up a little bit more. Uh, from the research that I've been doing so far on this, hold on, let me turn this off. Actually, let me take a photo. Instagram y'all uh, So at this point I'm gonna open this up a little bit more to give these a little bit more room to breathe I don't know if I'm making a mistake here. I don't think I am I did this with my king oysters when I saw that the bag was gonna interfere with the growth I opened it up a little bit more um, But I am gonna go ahead and keep it in this box and the point of this box is is we want to create uh, a confined dark area on three, or actually one, two, three, four, five sides of this box. And this is going to kind of train these mushrooms to come up from the top and not grow out the sides or the bottoms. As you can see, there's uh, some smashed ones. I don't know if you can see that. There are some smashed ones up against the side. They are not gonna grow. Uh, and so I'm just gonna keep an eye on these and like the instructions say, 
they're kind of really dense and rubbery right now. Uh, like the instructions say, when I do miss this once a day, I have that big mister instead of that tiny mister that they gave me. So instead of doing like five to ten pumps, I'm just going to take that one mister. I'm going to go two feet away up in the air and just missed it. And that is it. That's all the moisture I'm going to add to these lines made right now. So that is the update as of... So it is May 4th. May the 4th be with you. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the second step of setting up your lion's mane for growth. Let's hope this year I'm a lot more successful than I was last year. Like I said, I'm just going to push it aside, a squirt from two or three feet away with my big bottle, leave it alone once or twice a day and that is it i will keep you updated on this so let's move on to the next rapid fire video of the day i think this is video number four or five i don't know i'm gonna have a hell of a time keeping track of this stuff uh in the editing station but but i sure as hell are gonna have a really good time over the next three or four days trying to put all these videos together that i shot in less than three hours I love you. Have a good evening. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will see you on the next episode, which is going to be coming up in about three or four minutes. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting strong. I already call my husband. <laughs> I call it no. I call it <laughs> <laughs> I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.